Hello all, welcome to the channel. This video is the part of inventory management or a stock management playlist. Today I'm going to discuss about pick and pack and inventory transfer process. And before a starting of this video directly, I would highly recommend to check out the pick and pack for the sales process and the pick and pack for, um, for the production to get a good uh, understanding of whole pick and pack manager. And now uh, we're going to discuss in this video to how we, you can create an inventory transfer request. And from the, that request, how you can manage to pick all the items from the warehouse. Uh, to transfer from one warehouse to another warehouse and some other scenarios and we will discuss everything right after this So let's assume that you have some uh, items that are ordered by the customer and you have to uh, you have to transfer that item from one warehouse to another warehouse so that the, all the items can be delivered directly to that particular customer uh, from one part from one particular warehouse location so i'm gonna select all the let's say some items or uh, maybe this one i hope i have the quantity and we don't have the quantity so maybe the different one and we're gonna pick this item we'll see yeah so we have in the warehouse one the 20 quantity and the customer ordered on the 30 quantity so we're gonna add uh, our tra inventory transfer request to transfer the uh, transfer the item from warehouse one to warehouse two with all the 15 quantity and i'm gonna add the inventory transfer request once the inventory transfer request added then one guy from the warehouse I'm gonna go and uh, open the inventory uh, pick and pack production manager and in the pick and pack production pick pack and production manager i already explained the whole document in the uh, pick and pack uh, uh, for the sales process so you should check that out uh, to get the whole glimpse but in this one we can simply select the inventory transfer request and you have to select the warehouse one and then you will see that uh, we have an inventory transfer request document which are ready to release for the pick list once you release that document and you have to generate that then you will see that there is a pick list uh, created for that particular inventory transfer and the guy will be go physically to the warehouse zero one and gonna create uh, we're gonna uh, gonna pick all the items from the warehouse directly so now once the pick list is created so you can simply select the uh, lines and you have to go and create the inventory transfer request for the same quantity once you added the inventory transfer document then you will see that you know, the uh, the uh, the items is already picked from the warehouse and the inventory transfer request is all have been already made so you can um, check as a target document and we have already delivered this uh, based on the inventory transfer request document uh, so that's how you can create um, and you can manage the inventory transfer using the pick and pack production manager right there could be the another scenario for the same for the same case uh, which could be is let's say uh, let's say that the inventory transfer request has a target document and in that that case let's say uh, you have a special packing area for the delivery of delicated or the fragile items and that are managed as a separate bin location in the warehouse and in order to track the item that are transferred to the picking area to transfer the item to the warehouse employee you have to create uh, uh, the option from the pick and pack production manager right so in that case you have to create a sales order so let's go to the sales order and create one of the sales uh, order to see that scenario as well so i'm gonna use the same um, um, we're gonna use some business partner and I'm gonna use the same uh, item and that is that. I'm gonna use the same item for the HP printer and I'm gonna say okay we need the two quantity for the sales order you have to enter the delivery date obviously and you added that document in the sales order once the sales order is added now you will go to the Pick and pick and pack production manager. Select the sales order document, 
and now you will see that we have our sales already in here from here you have to open the you have to select the open drawer and you have to select we already selected the sales order and from here uh, you have to create uh, the inventory transfer request right so you just created an inventory transfer request from warehouse one to let's say same bin or maybe the different bin uh, different warehouse right and i'm just created this one and once you created this then you will see that uh, uh, inventory transfer request is already created um, we can see that from here and this one is already created for the i2 quantity and now you can directly go to the pick and pack uh, pick and pack production manager and instead of this we have to select the inventory transfer request and follow the same procedure that we already did so you just have to select this and uh, release to the pick right and generate the document go to the release select this document create the inventory transfer from here so that's the another scenario that could be also possible from the sales order so that's the uh, so this video is the last the last video of the pick and uh, pick pack and production uh, module uh, inside the inventory management or the stock management and i i would highly recommend to check out all the three videos because they are uh, almost uh, are related to each other one was uh, dedicated for the sales uh, sales process then another one is for the production and this one is the inventory transfer and if you have any question or any doubts you are please feel free to comment down in the comment section i would be happy to uh, reply and meanwhile uh, take care thank you